Aries, 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 dun 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 dun, Aries, 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 dun 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 dun, Aries, 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 Aries. How are you guys doing, Aries? Thank you so much for tuning in, my darlings, my loves, my love bugs. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for the support. Um, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and you guys are enjoying your week so far and the holidays. I know it's Monday. It's kind of a bummer, but shit, hopefully this intro was, you know, enough to kind of get you in the mood, okay? So, my loves, you know the drill, but for those of you who are new here, this is going to be a general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. You keep in mind that the energies here could be vice versa. You know, some people want to comment, oh, it's completely reversed for me. Well, obviously, it's a general reading. You know, it could be switched up. That's fine, right? Could be dealing with a Taurus, by the way. And what else was I going to say? I know some of you like that. But, <laughs> but um, oh yeah, this could be something happening now. In the near future or the future, the readings are timeless, my dears, okay? So if you are cross-watching for an Aries, of course, this could be, you know, vice versa. Aries may have did the bullshit, right? I say that in every video. But some people, you can tell that they're not, um, they don't listen as well, okay? So here we go. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please tap me into the collective energies of Aries. You could be dealing with a Virgo, an Aquarius. What is coming towards Aries in love spirit? Show me what I need to see for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please tap me into their higher self. Overall energy is the Page of Wands, Aries. So, shit. Page of Wands and, you know, this little fella right here. He's a fun little fella, okay? But the only thing about him, obviously, he's a page, so he's immature. He's a little young at heart. So you could be dealing with someone. I mean, this could be Aries as well, but you could be dealing with someone who couldn't be embodying the page of wands, right? A lot of flirting going on, a lot of hee-hee-ha-has, you know, some laughing going on, right? could be a new person in your life. Angels, tell me more about the situation. What is coming towards um, Aries and love? The Aries Collective. Oh, shit. That is a lot of fun. What is coming towards the Aries Collective and love? Aries. Aries and love, please. What is coming towards the Aries Collective and love? Aries, Aries, Aries. What is coming towards Aries and love? Ooh, that, that, that little fella came out again. I don't really like how the hell he came out, though. Because it's like... What is coming towards Aries and love? Aries. Aries. When they don't come out a certain way, it just feels weird to me, so I'll put them back. All right, so you have the chariot, Aries. So you could be connected to a cancer. And then you have the three of wands in the reverse. So I feel like Aries and some of you, like, you could be, you could have been getting to know someone or seeing someone, but it's like maybe you stop or they stop, okay? But the three of wands in, my ver in the reverse is like, you know, no longer seeing the person, you know, no longer waiting on someone. It could mean a lot of things, but let's see. Maybe you're just like, okay, time to fucking move on. The motherfucker ain't speaking up. Eight of Cups. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like you're walking away from something, Aries. You have the Tower as well. Could be connected to a Scorpio. You have the Five of Swords. The Eight of Pentacles. And you have Justice in Reverse. So, obviously, this is a motherfucker who did you wrong, Aries. Could be a Libra. Right? But this is someone who did you wrong. <laughs> Um, I mean, it could be third party. It's very possible, right? Three of Wands is in the reverse. But I feel like um, you're not feeling very emotionally fulfilled in the situation. And you're just really walking away once and for all. I feel like you could be very upset with this person, Aries. You have the, the tower here. Maybe you feel like they're just very immature. This person has you involved in third party situation. That's what I'm seeing here. Because there's like something that was said or done that kind of made you feel like, oh no, you got me fucked up. Like, I gotta walk away. <laughs> I gotta walk away. I feel like you were working very hard at something or someone was working very hard at something with you. It was like somebody's really starting to ask themselves, is it worth the effort? Like, is it even worth it anymore? But you have justice in reverse. So the page of ones that we see in the beginning could have to do with this person being extremely immature. Um... Maybe they're not really looking for something serious. Like, you may be looking for something serious. Maybe you don't know if you can trust them, okay? But the Page of Wands um, in the beginning that we saw could also be having to do with a new person that you're probably getting to know, right? Because you're just like, you know what? Got me fucked up. You probably already don't pick you up someone else. You know Aries don't waste no fucking time. 
Aries don't waste no motherfucking time. So before we do some clarification, let's get some messages to see. This person could be long distance, one of these people. Angels, messages for Aries. What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? Damn, this shit is like... My card got fucked up. All right, so you have confusion. So, yeah, like I said, one of these people could have been really confusing you, acting very immature. You have holding on. What is coming towards Aries in love? What is coming towards Aries in love? I don't even feel like that meant to come out, so I'm going to put that back. Actually, no. This is sadness and loss. All right, so sadness and loss. It could be this person's loss, not really yours. You have money finance. For some of you, like, you could have worked with this person. And you have asked for guidance. I have one more card for Aries in love. What is coming towards Aries in love? <laughs> vacation. You might have met this person while you was like on vacation, while you were traveling. You have disconnect and vacation. Okay. So here we go. So, but I kind of feel like Aries, like you're feeling forced to move on from someone. If this person just works a lot, let's see. Clarify the chariot, please. What is coming towards Aries in love? Why is the chariot here? Like you got to move on from a motherfucker. You got to leave a motherfucker in the past. Yeah, you're ending something. What the hell are you ending, Aries? Hangman in reverse. Could be a Pisces. Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles keep coming out. So you could be feel like you're trying to, you've been trying to fix something and work on something with someone that's just broken and can't be fixed. This person may have really hurt you with a third party situation. And although for some of you might love them, but it's like, you know what? I'm sorry, I just can't get over this. This cannot be fixed, and I have to just walk away. That could be it. What is why is the three of wands in the reverse coming towards Aries, please? Why is the three of wands in reverse coming towards Aries? The seven of wands. Exactly. So for some of you might have blocked this motherfucker. Oh. Okay, I'm seeing. Okay, yeah, so it could have definitely been a third-party situation. Three of Cups came out. If it's not third-party with this person, then it's like, this is someone who probably just wants to party with you, you know, they want to carry on a casual relationship. And you're not down for that. And you're like, okay, well, you know, if we're not going to go further, if you're not looking to um, expand the relationship or anything like that or the connection, then I got to leave. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Maybe you're just sick and waiting for someone. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Aries is just fed the fuck up. Like, I could really just sense that. So, you could be walking away from another fire sign. That's what I'm seeing. King of Wands in reverse. And you know the King of Wands in reverse is my player for the motherfucking Himalayas, Aries. Now, we know that, don't we? You're walking away from this fool. You're walking away, Aries. Yeah. <laughs> Emperor is in the reverse. Could be an Aries. But, yeah, this is someone that you just feel like, you know what? Um, they're not really treating you the way that you deserve. You're not getting what you deserve with this person or in this situation. Maybe you find yourself putting more effort than this person, but it's like, it's a no from you now. And the tower could have been like a very explosive argument between you two. Um, the tower also can indicate like a situation that was shocking or maybe you found something out. Tell me about the tower. That's what I'm picking up. So you have the chariot in the reverse. Cancer again, the Ten of Cups. You have Gemini as well. You could be dealing with a Gemini. Tower again. So I feel like you are really seeing this person as your Ten of Cups. And it's almost like you're starting to see why it didn't work out or why it wasn't going to work out. This is someone that is very um, childish or this is like player from Him Himalayas. Tell me about the Five of Swords, please. So you walked away from this person. And you just feel like this, this is someone who's very foolish. They do whatever the hell they want to do. You probably feel like they don't have any, they, they don't have any sympathy. Like they don't care about how you feel. Seven of Cups, they probably have a lot of options, keeping their options open. Maybe um, you were seeing this person through some sort of like rose colored glasses at first. But now you're really kind of seeing like all the smoke and mirrors are going away. It's like you see them for who they are. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. It's like you see that there's not going to be any um advancement in the connection is that how i should say it or like things are not going to go to the next level it's like you, where you guys are right now is where it's always going to be 
Some of you may have found out this person is like has a whole family. But there's an incompatibility here. I feel like you were working towards something with someone um, and it just it just wasn't working out. Three of Pentacles reversed, Ten of Pentacles. Putting in a lot of effort. For some of you, this was someone that you were in a relationship. Remember, this situation could be talking about a situation in the past for you. And this person could be coming back towards you to like have some sort of new beginning with you. Because I keep seeing the Knight of Cups. So it's like they could be returning to you. But it's like, you probably going to meet them like this. Like, I'm fucking good. I'm good. <laughs> Angels, why does justice here in the reverse? What did this person do to Aries? Why the fuck is it just in the reverse? What did they do to my Aries? Why is it justice in reverse? Oh, my goodness. The four of pentacles. So is it you let it go, Aries? You realize this person wasn't making you happy. Whatever the fuck they were doing wasn't making you happy. And I feel like for a lot of them, they were just being very confusing, confusing you. The Ace of Swords and the rest could be confusion. Um, it's like you never knew where you stood with this person. Like I said, for some of you, it's, um, it's third party. For others of you, it's not. Okay? It's just this person was just playing a lot of games. And you started to see that you're waiting for nothing. And you're not going to get anything out of this situation. So let's see, Angels. Why is this person coming towards Aries in love? Why? Why is this person coming towards Aries in love? Why is this person coming towards Aries in love? Ooh, looks like we're gonna. Why is this person coming towards Aries in love? Oh, shoot, what card is that? Yeah. All right, my love. So you know the drill. We're gonna take this motherfucker to the extended. We're gonna take this to the extended because um, I think you would really like to see why they're coming towards you. So this is someone that you caught in a lie or anything. I have that information for you and why they're coming back. So check it out. Let's get some messages real quick. What is coming towards Aries and love? Let's see what comes out of here. You have interference, you see? An external party is, is intruding on this relationship. A third party um, situation. This is a divine kind of bar. For some of you, you might feel like this is your twin flame. Maybe they're involved with like a karmic. What is coming towards Aries in love? Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And you also have, have play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. I feel like this is what the new person. You, you could be talking to someone new just to kind of distract yourself and not stop thinking about this person in the situation. All right, so my loves, head over to Extend if you want to know why they're coming towards you, okay? See you all later. Love you.